In this video, I'm going to show you how to export an alpha channel in DaVinci Resolve. Alpha channels are where you have that transparent background around the subject that you want to show. They can come in handy when you're doing any sort of compositing or motion graphics work. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Will and I release weekly YouTube videos all about DaVinci Resolve as well as gear reviews. Subscribe to stay in the loop. Now let's hop in there and get started. Now, it's important to know that depending on your computer's hardware, some codecs just might not work for you, and some will create bigger file sizes than others. That's why I'm gonna show you a few different options. So let's export this social media tag by going over to the deliver page. In render settings, custom export, under video, export video should be checkmarked. Let's go to the format menu and choose QuickTime. And now let's check out our first codec, which is Apple ProRes. ProRes has been an industry standard codec for almost 20 years, and therefore it's very popular and reliable. But since it's owned by Apple, PC users in DaVinci Resolve don't have access to it directly. There are some third-party plugins, but for the purposes of this video, I'll show you some alternatives that are built in and ready to go. And then for type, we'll choose 4444 because that's the option that will provide you with the ability to add the alpha channel. Check mark export alpha. If you didn't, then your video would show this black background. If you have to make any changes to other settings like the resolution, you can do so. Name your file, then add to render queue. Our second codec option is GoPro Cineform. For type, we'll choose RGB 16-bit, which similar to ProRes 4444 is the option that will allow an alpha channel, AKA a transparent background. Check mark export alpha again, name your file, then add to render queue. And now I'll show you a third option that should work for you regardless of your computer's hardware. And this is DNX HR. There's a few options here, but the one you choose will depend on your source media. So. Pick whichever one works for you, as long as it has an alpha channel. I generally go with 444 12-bit as it's the highest quality. Make sure we have export alpha checkmarked. I will name this and add to render queue. Let's select all three of those and render all. I'll speed this part of the video up so we can get right to checking out the sizes of each of these exported alpha channels. As you can see, DNxHR created a massive file size, so I rarely use it unless the other options aren't available. GoPro also created somewhat of a big file, but for a motion graphic that's just a few seconds long, that's fine. ProRes created the smallest file size by far, so you can see why it's known as the industry standard. It's easy for your computer to work with and it creates reasonable file sizes. And when I drag these alpha channels back into Resolve, they all play nicely with their transparent backgrounds over this footage. There you go, you now know how to do one more thing in DaVinci Resolve that you did five minutes ago. And if you wanna know the gear that we recommend and use like favorite portable hard drive, check out the links below. I hope you have a lovely day and you found this video helpful. We'll see you in the next one.